right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, we've got another one. So this is the Co-Fight. Um, it's got really odd name on GearBest website. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want to pick it up. I have flown this actually um, already, and it flies really nicely, especially with a transmitter. You can fly it with a phone. Um, it's a bit odd. There's some voice uh, recognition like type flying where you can actually use your voice. It's really uh, it's weird. I don't know. I, I've tried it. We'll try it. But uh, anyways, I'm going to... Uh, show you and the big reason uh, this kind of jumped at me uh, as of uh, a lot of the DJI clones this is another clone so um, I'm sure you're familiar um, with that design that is the Rise Tello uh, clone so you know DJI it's technically not a it's not a DJI product that Rise uh, but it's powered by DJI so anyways we're gonna call this a DJI Rise Tello drone clone long name um, because that's what it is. It's designed to look like that, um, but it's uh, about half the price, and you can actually get it from GearBest right now with three of these LiPo batteries for like under 60 bucks. Um, prices are always fluctuating, so again, check the link if you want to check it out. But really nice size LiPo. It's a one cell 3.7 volt, 1,000 milliamp uh, LiPo battery with a proprietary connector. You do get a USB charging port. You do get uh, spare propellers and prop guards. I'm not going to use those here today, um, but you know I do recommend um, picking up the one with at least two or three three batteries for a few extra bucks. It's well worth um, rather than getting the one with just one battery. I'd pass on that because you're going to want to keep flying. One of the things that I did note on this uh, right straight away is uh, after a first flight and an indoor flight, mind you, these motors became very, very hot. And it was funny because they actually had a warning inside the box talking about that, but those came really hot. So if you're going to fly outside or even indoors, um, wait a few minutes before you swap batteries and do another uh, LiPo in there because those, those motors are going to burn themselves up if you run too many batteries back to back. So do keep that in mind. So a little bit of a con for sure, um, but as long as you're aware of it, it should be okay. The 3.7 volt, um, I almost wish they would have used a two cell because this got super hot as well. So again, be careful um, when you're flying around, especially on a really hot day like today, um, you know, that you, you're mindful of these lipos because those, um, you know, they, they can be dangerous if they get uh, too over uh, discharged. But um, nonetheless, it does fly really nicely. Um, there isn't uh, some of the things like on the Rise Tello uh, as far as optical flow. It would have been really nice to see the optical flow sensor on the bottom to help keep its positioning. But it does have altitude hold so you don't have to manage throttle. It will just keep its position in its place. But uh, uh, no uh, optical flow sensor on this. So, you know, it's a little bit of a sacrifice. Definitely more of a toy towards the more toy side. You don't have those neat... Um, flight uh, features like you do with the Rise Tello that are similar to the DJI, you know, the selfie modes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but nonetheless, if you like the form factor, uh, price point less expensive, you can get three of them for under 60 bucks right now. Uh, and I love this transmitter too. So I hate when I'm when I'm flying new quads and transmitters aren't logoed and I have to look at the manual. So this is really, really nice to it out here. You can see you've got the one key takeoff, one key land. You've got your trim tabs here. Um, right on the top, it shows you 360 flips. This is your rates here. And then on this side, you've got your and return to home and headless mode um, all right so it's really nicely labeled uh, right on the transmitter so let's go ahead and pop in the battery and take this thing for a flight um, you're gonna want to make sure that this little pin connector is on the top uh, of that and when you do turn it on you just press the top of the quad quickly put it on the ground you'll have two green lights on the front uh, nice 720p camera um, with a pretty decent lens so let's go ahead and turn it on we'll set it down we're gonna power on our transmitter first of all and then you're gonna up and down uh, maybe just up and that should bind to the craft now we're gonna open our Wi-Fi and we're going to jump into the network on the Wi-Fi so it's HTS and some letters and of course there's an app that you're gonna download and it actually works pretty decently so far so hopefully everything will save and not corrupt sometimes some of those apps because all the video footage pictures are all saved on your device not on the craft there's no SD card and then you're going to jump into the app which is labeled HTS UFO it looks like that and we're gonna go ahead and jump right in there and there we go so we're gonna go ahead and start recording our video and we're going to do a one key takeoff right here. It jumps up to about probably about a good six and a half feet. 
when I was indoors, it jumped to about five. So probably between five and six feet, it jumps up. Again, altitude hold. I'm flying this with the transmitter right now. So this is should be the low rate. Yep, it's the low rate. So there's your pitch. There's your roll. Pretty docile. And our yaw, pretty slow on the yo, low, low rate. So let's go ahead and bring it back. Altitude hold is working pretty well. Not much of a, a breeze at all today. So let's go ahead and bump up the rates here. Rate two, pitch. Oh yeah, a lot more responsive roll and yaw. Yaw doesn't really seem to move up too much in speed on uh, second rate, but on third rate it does. So much sportier. Our, roll, our yaw actually goes really fast. Those green LEDs do help with orientation. Even in the daylight, I can see them. You guys probably can't see them on camera, but I can. I wish there was uh, some LEDs on the back too, but nonetheless. So it does do flip, so let's go ahead and take it up. And top right and flip. And that's one thing that's kind of nice about this is, you know, the Rise Tello, there's no transmitter. You're strictly flying with a phone, which I, I am not a fan of. Because it's, it's very hard to tell which way you've swiped on the screen, and it's usually a little bit of a lag. I'm sure the Rise is a nice product. I haven't tested it out myself, but um, I like flying with a transmitter. They did a really cool job copying the uh, DJI style transmitter with this guy and it works well and it's holding nice big my nice big phone in there and the video footage is actually really smooth I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna show you here only because I don't know whether or not it's gonna save you know sometimes those files get corrupted but uh, the footage on it's very nice very nice smooth crisp let's let's do a little bit of a distance and see if it gets laggy on us at all I'm just gonna go ahead and you guys watch the screen I'll watch the quad here and um, I'm all the way out by the barn now so it looks like I looked down and yeah definitely lost signal I would say probably probably gonna have to stay within 30 40 feet is probably gonna be about the most distance you're gonna get with these Wi-Fi drones that's pretty common you know so if you're trying to get really high and trying to get shots you know you're probably not gonna be able to get too too high let's see let's see what kind of height we can get yeah so I'm I'm up there, and it's laggy, it's catching. As long as I stay somewhat close to me and I just go above me, I'm okay, I can get some cool shots because I know that's what people are going to want to do. They're going to want to take this thing up. I don't want to go too high. Anytime you're flying these toy drones, especially with Wi-Fi, there can always be interference, so you don't want to go too far. But it's got a really nice camera on it for being a toy drone, and it's flying really well. Let's see if we can get a couple couple photos too. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and I'm just going to pan over there, take a photo, just take another one, take another one. So really nice camera. I'll go ahead and start recording again. So going up wise, I'm actually getting pretty good signal going up, but when I went out, kind of glitchy so we're up there pretty high I mean I think that's plenty high for a toy drone I know people are gonna push it I don't recommend it that's how you have flyaways oh, the birds don't like us right now but really decent flight time on this too I noticed we're gonna go ahead and bring it down it does have low voltage warning and LEDs on the front of the craft do flash when that uh, light is when that's getting low the batteries and we're still solid green, so let's try that headless mode and see if that that works well. So no matter which way I turn the craft, away is away, back is back, left is left, no matter how I spin it. So that works well for those beginners. The beeping is annoying, so we're going to turn that off. And we're going to try and return to home. So it's not an actual GPS, it just flies in the general direction of where it took off. So it should come back to us. Let's go ahead and press that. And here it comes, it's coming back. So that works too. So all the features are working really well. I like this, this is a good drone. Good little quadcopter, decent camera. I like the transmitter. 
you can fly with the phone with just the phone if you wanted to I'm not gonna do that I'm not a fan I don't recommend flying that way especially for a beginner uh, a couple of cons like I said the motors get pretty hot so be careful of that the lipos get pretty warm too there's not a lot of ventilation design in the framing of the quad so electronics and that get a bit warm on the inside so be careful you know don't run pack after pack give it a few minutes to cool down um, but nonetheless it works and it works really well it's flying good transmitter feels good in the hands I like how the screen set up like the DJI transmitter it's just a good good little toy drone and for Right now they've got them like under 60 bucks and you can get three batteries. I don't think you can go wrong. You got prop guards which is nice for indoor flying or beginners. Very nice. They did a nice they did a nice job with this quad. For sure. I like the red canopy too. LEDs. Still flying, good flight time. 1,000 milliamp, one cell, so lots of flight time. Not a ton of punch, but plenty of uh, power to get moving vertically. This is a good quad. Nice, I like this. Decent Wi-Fi, it's not super choppy being right in front of me, but when you get out, when you got a bit of ways, it does lose a little bit of signal. Well, see, now I'm all the way by the barn, and now I've got good signal. So, you know, Wi-Fi, it's hit or miss. Hit or miss. But I went all the way down by the barn, and Wi-Fi connection is really decent. I wouldn't fly FPV, because you're going to have a little bit of a lag, a little bit of a latency. But good power. Let's see if we can do some more flips. Oh, we might have hit low voltage warning. Oh, no, I'm still doing flips. Back, forward. Seems like it's a little laggy. Let's bring it back to see if those lights are flashing. No, they're still not flashing. That's high rate. Oh, I accidentally went into low rate apparently. This is a good flyer. Nice and sporty. See if we can make it through the little obstacle course here. Whoa! I'd almost rather not have altitude hold. Yeah, but we made it. Wow, this is a good drone. I like this. Wish they had these types of drones when I first started. It made flying and learning how to fly so much easier with altitude hold. Crazy yaw on it. And we're still not at low voltage. Wow. The yaw on high rate's a little too quick for my liking. But it is cool. I almost wish they bumped up the rate a little bit on, uh, on the second rate on the yaw. but good flyer. Very stable. There's not much wind right now. Of course, with wind, you're gonna get, you're gonna get some, uh, some heavy drifting, but we're not getting that here. Nice and smooth, stable. All right, now we're low voltage warning. I just saw the lights flashing, so we're gonna go ahead and one key land. There we go. So that's the Kofite drone. I don't know the official name for it. It's probably got a bunch of different names on different websites, but I'll have a link in the description. Cool little paint job on it too, kind of like a little pearly. So definitely recommend this one, um, no doubt. Pick up the extra batteries. I like it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, as always, we'll see you in the next one, and happy flying life.